Hello and thank you for watching us here at Tax Talk UK where we talk about all things tax and try to help you to navigate um, the tax as it applies to your situation. So today I'm going to talk about K codes, um, tax codes. Um, before I talk about this, um, if I could please ask you to take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll easily be able to refer back to this information if you need to, as well as finding other information that we have to help you navigate um, the tax system as it applies to you. Thank you. So um, back then to um, K codes. So when we talk about um, tax codes, you'll be aware that there are various different letters that are involved in your um, tax code. And one of them, the one that we're going to talk today about is a K code. Now, basically you will have a K in your tax code when your um, income, the income that isn't being taxed is more than your personal allowance. So what I mean um, by that, so ordinarily you will, your tax, if you if you have completely straightforward tax, just have your normal personal allowance, the um, you will have a standard um, tax code, which basically tells your employer how much personal allowance to, um, to give you. And then they would know to deduct um, anything above that at the appropriate rate. Now, sometimes there might be um, income that's not taxed at source and it's not possible to tax it at source, such as, for example, if you receive state pension, state pension is taxable, um, but it's not actually taxed at source and there is no mechanism um, for it to be um, taxed at um, source. So in this scenario, what would happen is in your tax code calculation, you would see that your original personal allowance, and then you would see a reduction of that by the amount of your personal pension. And what is left is the personal allowance that can be used by other employers or pension um, providers. So this is all fine. And of course, if there's no personal allowance um, left, say, for example, if you have two employments and one is using your personal allowance, then the other one simply would um, not allow any personal allowance. And there are other mechanisms if your combined income would take you over the um, over the high rate tax um, threshold. And this would be another scenario where a K code um, may be applicable. So, so, it, so in that scenario that I just talked through, we're starting off with a personal allowance and then we're deducting things um, that, that need um, taxing because they're not taxed at source. But what if those deductions are more than your personal allowance? Um, then this is where the K code comes in um, because what the K code effectively is doing is telling an employer um, this person has income that we can't tax in any other way. So we want you to add it to your income and tax it through 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 your PAYE system. So that means that on that, if you didn't have any other income on that, income um, in isolation, you would be paying more tax than you needed. And the idea is that that additional tax makes up for the shortfall on the other income that can't be taxed, or perhaps it might be an adjustment, an adjustment perhaps from previous years underpaid um, tax, or an adjustment because you have two sources of income through PAYE, and individually, they are underneath the high rate um, tax um, threshold. But once you add them together, that it means that you would um, be into high rate tax. So, of course, in isolation, um, each of your employers or pension providers are um, processing and they know what they've paid you for the tax year and whether 
that you've gone into high rate tax through their income, but they don't know what each other's doing. So they wouldn't know that overall 40% tax um, potentially needs to be um, deducted. So again, HMRC would make an adjustment to your tax code that meant that the tax was going to get collected so that at the end of the tax year, because that's ultimately what we're trying to achieve is that at the end of the tax year, we look at all of the income that you've um, earned through PAYE and other sources, of course, but we're just talking about PAYE um, today. And then the, the income together, all added together, can then be assessed for the tax liability. And, um, and then the idea is that throughout the tax year, the tax code has collected the right amount of um, tax. So if this, if there's a, if that wouldn't happen without any adjustments, this may be another um, time when um, a K code was required and one of your employers was required to deduct um, more more tax in effect um, than than they than they would just on that. On, on that income alone. So it can be quite complex. It's important just really to understand that at the end of the year, think about what the total of your income is going to be. Think about what threshold that, that may take you over. Um, and this, this if, if there's not enough, um, if, if there's too much to deduct from your personal allowance and that won't collect enough, um, tax, then this is when a K code um, comes in. So to, let's give you a, um, a small example. Say, for example, you have, say for you, ha you have your state pension and that doesn't leave very much of your personal allowance. And then um, you have an adjustment that means that actually £3,000 over your, more than your personal allowance needs to be taxed in order to get collect the right amount of tax. So the purse, so what the K code is saying to your employer in that scenario is, can you add 3000 pounds onto the employment, um, on, onto the income and tax it as if you had paid that 3000 pounds because then you're going to be collecting the right amount of tax um, for us. But if there's any um, discrepancies, if the tax code isn't collecting the right amount, then if you've made an overpayment, then um, you will receive that back. And if the, you've made an underpayment, you will need to um, pay it. So, of course, this is why it's important throughout the year to have an understanding of your um, tax code um, and, and what is happening and what your total income is. Um, because you don't want to end up with a, a tax bill at the end of the year, particularly if you're not um, expecting it. So um, in summary, then a K code um, allows HMRC to tax more, um, more income than your, um, it's not allow. it's, it's not, um, it's not just allowing a, a personal allowance, it's adding income on um, for the um, for the employer to to be deducting, so hopefully this makes sense. If you're not sure that your tax code's correct, then you can um, contact HMRC or um, you can get some information from your personal tax account on gov.uk as well. And of course, if you don't think your tax code is going to be collecting the right um, tax through the year, then you should notify HMRC. And if your tax, um, if your tax is quite complex and you um, are, are not confident that the tax codes can collect the correct the correct amount, then um, you're perfectly able to do a um, self assessment tax return at the end of the tax year, which will just um, satisfy your mind that um, your total income has been assessed, your total liability has of that income has been assessed and the correct tax has been paid. And if it's not, then you will know um, as soon as you, um, uh, as soon as your tax calculation is, um, is concluded, which would come at the end of the um, self-assessment tax return process. So um, I hope this helps. Um, it is a little bit complex. So 
um don't you know don't don't um don't sort of worry if it doesn't completely fall into place and um, the best thing is to look at your tax code notice and to try and understand what the different things mean look at your pay slip look at your income look at your p60s for the end of the year because when you actually translate the information that i'm giving you today into your individual situation it of course um will become far more easier to comprehend so thank you very much for watching if you have found the information useful please do like the video that helps us to know which topics to focus on when we're answering the questions that come in unfortunately we we can't always um, get to answer all of them and um, as I mentioned earlier please do subscribe to our YouTube channel thank you very much for watching goodbye